Hello YouTube, this is uh, the second update video for my iPhone RPG, so it's loaded up here. Today is uh, Wednesday, July 8th, uh, so still about the same, you can see here I changed the build number to uh, build alpha 4. Um, the main thing that I put in here is uh, an underlying menu system. So if you go to full demo and load save game, there's actually save game data in here. Uh, so let's just go back to the uh, the overworld, just like I showed you before. So here's uh, the overworld again. You can still move around, but one of the main things I put in. So let's put the view right here. So this is obviously a different view from what we started with. So if you take four fingers and put them on the screen, it'll bring you to the menu. I may change that uh, to a physical button on the screen later, but that's currently how you get to the uh, the menu system. And uh, currently it's a lot like uh, other RPGs. There's three separate character slots uh, with their data. Here, let me load in some character data real quick. So you can see here, character one is called Huge As, uh, level 99. Uh, character three is Catterday. Just some data in there to show that the uh, uh, the menu options do actually work. So in the real game, if you want to uh, uh, see what character one has equipped, then if you press on that, it'll bring you to that uh, that character. So I'm thinking of having like a 3D model here, their name and their vital stats, and then equipment and things such as that. So you click on return to go back to the main menu. And if you hit return again, it'll bring you back exactly to where you were when you went into the menu. And if we go back in here, go to save load, and then save game, it'll save all the data. So there, you can just see it appeared there. So let's return, go back to the world map, and let's go inside the town here. So say you're in the town and uh, for some reason or whatsoever you need to go back to your earlier save. So let's go to save, load, and then load game. Boom. And we're back to exactly where we saved. So that is working as intended. That took forever to actually code right. Like before it would, I would uh, hit load game and instead of loading the game in the overworld, you'd like appear over here and then fall through the level. So I finally got it working. And another thing I added in here, uh, well, besides that camera change, was if you go in here, here's a test NPC. I'm thinking instead of uh, walking up to an NPC and uh, uh, having a, a round button here that you press to interact, I'm thinking of just having you walk up to an NPC and then just tapping on them. So it's green, which means that they're able to be interacted with. So at this point, if I hit them, then it would pop up with the, the little dialog box and say, hello, what would you like to buy? Uh, things like that. I haven't put that in there right now, but I know that it works because in my, uh, my debug thing, it shows me that uh, the tap is registering. So that's pretty much all I've been up to right now. Um, if people have any preference about uh, the interaction with objects and people, like here's the old way where you walk up to something and then hit a button to interact. And with the new system, you just walk up and then touch the chest to open it. So if you have any preference either way, please do leave a comment on the video. And I will make another one of these in a few days with some more updates. Thanks for watching.